Hey guys, thought I'd do a little October update. Haven't done a video for October yet. Uh, take a little walk around the property. N not a lot of updates, but uh, just thought I'd keep up with the once a month thing and the usual walk around. Um, you can see they've taken down all the corn on on the on one side of us, so. I'm assuming this stuff is coming soon. Um, here's one update. Our dog is gone. He, he kept escaping over and over and over and over and over again and running all over the place. He'd keep coming back, but um, one of the last times he came back, he came back with his collar, so I assume somebody tried to put a leash on him and keep him, and um, he slipped loose from it. And Good luck to whoever has him, um, if that's the case, because he's like Houdini. I, uh, we had the, you know, the leash clip on him, and then I would, I would clip um, a carabiner on him. I zip tied it together after uh, clipping it, and, and I couldn't contain him. It's crazy. But he's been gone for two weeks. And I don't think he's coming back this time. We're gonna have to get another dog there. Here's the rabbits. They're all doing good. Um, we bred them recently, and only one of the does got pregnant, and she only, it was her, the little one there. She only had one bunny, and it died. But otherwise, they're doing good. Hope we doubled these two rabbits up, because here's another update. Got some new quail, 17 quail. Two of them have died in, like, the first week. I don't know what that's about. The rest of them seem pretty healthy, so I don't know. Um... I don't know what the deal was with those two, so I don't know what to think about it. If there's going to be any more to do that or not. Um, but so another thing about the quail was was um, this little thing. If you, any of you're interested in raising quail and don't know this, um, I have those over there. With there was ten. That's another update. I'll get to it. There was ten quail. The first quail we got. So I asked, I didn't know this, so I asked the person that I buy these quail off of, I said, can I put these quail in, these new quail here, in with those quail, and they said no, and, and because they would fight too much. And at first, they didn't convey this, but I, the, the assumption was it was because of their size and age. So I thought, okay, well, if I keep them in this, say this cage temporarily, um, when they're... Um, when they are, you know, uh, uh, catch up in size, can then then can I put them in there? And she said no. Is it basically it's a uh, flock dominance thing. You can't uh, mix two flocks together in the same area. That what she said that I could do. For example, I've got these in here now and those in there. My option is if I want to put these this flock and that flock together, I'll have to build another pen. And introduce them both to the same territory, apparently. So that's something I got to deal with. But those are the new ones. They're about two weeks old. Those over there are about six months now. I think I got them in January, June, June, June. June sorry, not January. I'm way off. Chickens are hiding in their coop. They're doing really well, though, and I've gotten one of them, sugar, I believe it is, to the white one back there. As a matter of fact, if you can see her, I've gotten her to eat, um, eat scratch grains out of my hand, which is cool, because they're really skittish. They don't like to, they're not super friendly. Um, but, she, but she's eating stuff out of my, she's always the last one to go hide in the coop from me, so... She's starting to friend friend me a little bit. And so here's the quail. Another update on these. I came out here one day when one of them had a gaping neck wound I found. Um, it was still alive, but um, it just wasn't looking good. So that was my first quail butcher. And that was very easy, by the way. Very easy birds to butcher. It only took, I barely knew what I was doing. I just did a quick YouTube uh, video search and um, just cut the legs, cut the legs, cut the wings off, cut the head off, and pull the pull the fur or uh, skin apart and pull it all off. Now they're coming out of hiding. Cut three of them. There's four of them in there, or five of them all together. 
these ones really seem like this grass, these tufts of grass growing up. There's a twig in there that the grass kind of grows around. They don't trample it down or anything, and they really like getting in there and laying, laying around that twig. Okay, so filling up the, uh, the compost bin pretty good, full of stuff out of the garden. Um, shoveled up some rot, a pile, rot, a couple piles of rotten apples and threw them in there. And I, I've been throwing everything in there. Um, hopefully have some nice compost pile come spring. There's corn falling off there on the ground. I've seen where stuff's been nibbling on the corn down through here too. When that corn goes down, the mice are gonna come. It's gonna be time. We've already had some mice, but the cats do a pretty good job of, of uh, taking care of the mice around here. Miko is a beast of a hunter. I mean, there's corpses littering the 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 driveway and and uh, back porch up there. Yeah, you'll be able to see. I'll show you where stuff's been nibbling on the uh, on the corn here. So they'll probably have that down in the next week, so there won't be any corn around us after probably next week. Which I kind of like corn up around me. I see a lot laying down back in there too. A lot. Our kitten's still doing really good. There's he pretty much she or he Willow is its name. We still don't know for, whether it's a he or a she, but it mostly stays in the house now. And Miko just hunts nonstop. She's she's a beast. Sometimes I'll sit there in the kitchen and I'll watch her through the window. I'll see her come out towards this grass. And I swear, two minutes later, she's got something hanging out of her mouth, trotting back up to the house. She's, she comes out in this grass, she's killing. Up around the house, too. I mean, she, we've caught one mouse in the house, and that was it. In a mouse trap. I mean, cats are essential for living out in the country, in my opinion. So, um, I haven't been catching anything on my game cams. I'm thinking the thing is, is this is about um, camera level. Um, unless it's right in front of the camera, anything, you know, smaller than a deer, even a small deer, like this stuff is so, t so tall, you know, coyotes could be running around, you know, not too far out in front of it. And, um, and uh, it won't even catch it because this stuff's just so tall. So I need to, I think, get it up and point it down or something to catch anything. The only thing this is catching is, is the weeds moving moving around with the wind. But I can see stuff is coming through here. I can't seem to catch it on camera. Let's see what's running around. I'm sure a lot of it's probably rabbit. But if there's rabbit, there's more than likely coyote and fox coming in after the rabbit. I don't know. I would think. Got kind of warm out all of a sudden. The sun's real bright. I'm kind of going to kind of miss the corn on my walk. Kind of have to grow some tall stuff along here next year. A lot of sunflowers or something to border this with. I've got plenty of sunflower seeds. Oh boy. 
Monday. Time to go back to work. It's late in the month, so I thought I'd make this real quick today. Like I said, really not a lot up to update the dog being gone, new quail, butchering my first quail. I think that uh, we're hoping that everything works out and nothing pops up. Um, Shell and I are probably going to go backpacking down at Brookville in the next week or so. Uh, here's the other camera. See, just, you know, all that grass in front of it just didn't really, there could be anything running around out there, you know, short, small. Be hidden in this grass, even with a camera on it. We plan on going out to Brookville um, in the next couple weeks, and we're kind of needing some time in the woods. Um, I like camping out here. We camped out here a couple weeks ago. I'll show you the campsite, because we put up, um, Put up some posts for hammocks, tried them out. I was trying to gauge how, how, comfortable she'll, how comfortable she'll be in the cooler weather, and it only got down to about 50 that night, so it wasn't a very good test, really, of that. Um, <clears throat> but the leaves are starting to change collars, which is cool. Just really noticed in the past couple days. I mean, it's literally last week, sometime in the middle of last week, I was telling her, I was like, I don't think the leaves are going to change collars. And then over the course of this weekend, I've noticed a, quite a bit of collar change, really. This is our junk pile. We're going to, we're working on trying to get this straightened up. Pull, we're pulling all these pallets out of way, out from the, the pile and, and organizing by type of pallet. And then once we get that pulled away, what we plan on doing is that's going to take a while to clean that out. There's a bunch of crap in there. You can't, you know, there's a lot of weeds. You can't see all the stuff that's in there. We plan on basically stacking, restacking those up into a, a kind of a wall around that big pile in there. And we'll have openings so that we can get into the pile and sort through it and clean it up and burn some stuff. And also inside of that fencing, we plan to build... Uh, it's going to be makeshift fencing. It's just going to be the stuff stacked up, and that's a, a, what I'm calling a fence. I'm not going to do anything drastic because it eventually it all be used or moved someplace else. It's just temporary as a way to store it. Plan on putting a tarp over. I'll explain it again here in a second. But um, we'll have a couple uh, an opening where we can get in to this stuff and bring more stuff in. We also plan on building well out of these some of these pallets. It's sort of like little recycling bins and that's where we'll bring our stuff you know from the house you know plastics and put them in the plastic bin and blah 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 and then when it, the bin is filled up I plan on making it about the size of my truck bed when it's filled up we'll come back here fill the truck bed up and, and go re recycle that um, so we plan on building one wall and what I plan on doing to build is a second wall away um, out from it so that it's almost like a tunnel. We're gonna put a tarp, this is my idea. We're gonna put a tarp over the top of both of the walls. And we're gonna put some of the, these, like these longer ones across the top to get, kind of give it a, a makeshift roof. I know this sounds stupid probably, but whatever. Um, and putting the tarp over the top of it all will protect the uh, pallets. Cause we plan on using the pallets for various things here and there and so on and so forth. So we'll eventually be dissecting the, the whole thing as, as time you know, goes on. And we'll probably rebuild something in its place, actually build something and keep it that like little tunnel fence thing around this junk pile. That's the idea. And it'll also be a service that, uh, like I'm allowing a space between the two, creating a tunnel. It'll also be kind of a little shelter space for us to sit out here and, and uh, chill and get my, and get my tarp. Uh, this is where we camped. This is our, um, I put up these two four by sixes and we're, we kind of formed a little triangle onto that tree with our hammocks. Mm. So we got that going on, our little hammock spot and everything. Here's where our, our campfire was. Um, 
yeah, we plan on, uh, like I said, cleaning all this out of here. So, I don't even know how to explain. You'll just have to wait till it's done, I guess. But we're going to clean all this out here, put it back there, and then restack it in a, uh, in a, in a fashion that uh, won't look as bad, easy to, easy to find stuff, blah, blah, blah and serve some sort of a dual purpose. That's the idea. And it got the corn on this side of it, so it's just two sides that they haven't gotten yet. So, yep, some of the, these are turning yellow. We don't get a lot of collar because I don't get that many trees to create some collar. What is this? That's a river birch we planted. This was left here, this pool ladder, and it really comes in handy just to leave it out here, tie it to the fence or whatever, tie it to tree, and that way we can get up in these mulberries and um, mulberries and plum trees a little bit easier comes in pretty handy for that. This is where we started what is going to be our, I don't know if I had this in the last video or not, we didn't get around to finishing because uh, just the weather's been bad and uh, have a little bit of problems with the rotiller before we can get it straightened out. Maybe just need some maybe cleaner or food or something, I don't know. But, uh, may not find out the story, so I just won't mess around with it. Uh, plan to start the corn and sunflowers and maybe some pumpkins you know, there, and, and this will be tilled up all the way to, you know, right about in here, I guess, somewhere in here, before the hay bales or the straw bales. That's all going to be corn all the way over past that other straw bale. So it's going to be pretty, pretty good sized patch of corn. And then this over here, we're going to, we're going to do it differently than I did last year. We're going to pretty much run instead of having patches patch 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 just um, run it about a five foot width all the way around and then run another one five foot out all the way around and then keep going leave a little patch in the middle just for kicks or something i don't know um so and then we moved i had a uh compost bin sitting over here but I didn't like how everything was growing over the top of it and making it hard to get in behind it or anything like that so we put it down here on this end to kind of border the uh, border the uh, this is gonna be flowers down here there's gonna be a walkway through here and the gardens all gonna be on the other side of this line here and then and then this is gonna be a flower border She's got mint, some day lilies. We're hoping a day lily spread because we really like eating them, so we're hoping to get more of those. Um, but it looks like they're staying alive where she transplanted them, so that's cool. tomatoes they were growing out here gourd left in there we just mowed this over so not, like I said not a lot to uh, to update about really um, I think I was saying earlier, Shelly and I plan on going on a camping trip, but just overnighter down at um, Brookville. Um, we mowed this over. Um, she transplanted the um, all but one row. She couldn't get the rows out of it. The last one must have been the mother of them or something. She couldn't get it out of that tire. So we don't really like where that tire's at. She planted it over there with those other roses. And over here we've got uh, some asparagus that's growing. 
couple asparagus plants. And I, we mowed and cleaned most of this out. Need to mow over again some more there because I, I, I just took just took the uh, little fencing for the um, tomato sports out this week. Plan on taking cleaning that up, the water tank, and taking it out of there and storing it with the with the recycle camp. That's what I like to call it, the recycle camp because that sounds a lot cooler than junk pile. And again, we're still filling these with poop and cardboard and grass and stuff. So, I keep getting sidetracked. We plan on going um, camping in a couple weeks. And we plan on doing kind of more bushcraft style camp, I guess. Uh, probably take a couple quail. Our plan is take a couple quail with us. Uh, boy, I need to mow this out. Plan on taking a couple quail with us, make some bannock. Maybe build, we plan on building a shelter, so that might be cool for the people who are sick of the homestead stuff. I don't know if you want to watch that. I think we're going to build a shelter though, and, and uh, get old school. Harvested a few. Uh, milk pods off here for seeds make sure the seeds get planted and stuff oh and we are still working on um we were at rural king last night trying to figure out just still hashing the idea out we're we're, we're, we're gonna get a, a damn a greenhouse going on but i have been kind of throwing different ideas around for that i thought about a dog kennel uh uh greenhouse but I am kind of back to the pal or the uh, cattle panel idea now. Currently, that's kind of the idea still. Um, I think that we're going to put the, um, the greenhouse in here. I plan on making it eight foot or whatever with um, a cattle panel that is doubled over. Eight foot. We're going to say eight foot. Eight foot by twenty, approximately. And I'm thinking about putting it right in this area and kind of almost connecting this trail to the uh, drive-up trail, drive-through trail that goes back to the um, thing. If that's 20 foot, I don't even know if it is or not. I might have to find a wider spot or something or do something. Anyways, somewhere in this area, because I found we found that if we put it too far up this way, that tree will actually throw some shade in the evening sometimes out this way and hit this out this way i'm gonna say out this far out this far it should be fine it's gonna be a little ways away from the house as far as carrying water and crap out here but i mean optimal sun is what i'm going for so that's a project that we're working on and our idea kind of is my idea i think i don't know if shelly Thinks the same thing or not, but I think she agrees with me. I believe is we want to try to keep the front half of the, the property is we're gonna you know do everything we can as far as um, gardening and livestock you know in the front half you know um, we pl eventually plan on having a couple pigs and a few goats so we've got still got the. Uh, that tree there approximately at the junk pile is about half halfway point just by eyeballing it halfway to the front of the property halfway to the back of the property just eyeballing that tree right there that you're seeing it would be the halfway point so we still got all this for um goats and pigs a greenhouse and maybe another patch or two or something right about in here and then still all of that as well so that tree right there almost uh, the tree across from the um cornfield big oak tree out there is pretty much the halfway point on that side see two two different size trees but still they mark about the halfway point so and then we're going to just let all this go pretty much wild we may um we're thinking we may plant things like um you know perennials like uh blackberries, uh, raspberries, um, 
asparagus, some different wildflowers, and perennial stuff, basically. Otherwise, mostly just let it, and, and trees, um, mostly just let it go. Um, we'll, we'll still put a trail through there so and have a few campsites back there, but as far as putting any fences or structures or anything in, other than what that, um, other than what the junk pile is probably going to overlap the half there, um, pretty much we're not going to put any structures back there of any sort. Um, except for one, I may possibly, I've been thinking, put a, um, deer stand slash op observation tower kind of thing back here that's been kind of a little idea i've been throwing around um back back somewhere in that corner i've got a little campsite back in that corner and i feel like that could be a good place to either there or out in this middle one there's another one out in the middle it's kind of cool that this grass is tall enough that you can't actually even see where i've mowed that out out there but there's one on that side over there thinking uh, one of those two campsites I may uh, build some sort of st uh, structure and camo it in real good so it'll still look natural but, but um, with that halfway point that leaves us a lot to work with over here I think as far as what we want to do I mean I think she'd like to have horses or cows or something but my understanding is for them to be able to graze much at all and have room to move they need like an acre a piece or something or even a half acre and that would pretty much eliminate most of this i think keeping it at cows and pigs you know we can still keep the half half and half thing going on is the idea for me but it would be nice to have cows and too, but I would be nice to have 10 acres too, 10 or 20 acres instead of five. I'm working with my guy, so I think that's about it. I mean, that's about all I can really talk about. I don't know how well the sound was on here, it's kind of windy out here. You get some of these rocks up out of here, and pop cans that the previous owners left all over. This is their garden again. I've said that before, rocks and pop cans so I, and I don't think we're gonna have any meetups for a while so I don't know may have one in the middle of the winter just see who has big enough balls to come and camp when it's snowing or something which hell by that time my balls may have shrank I might not even feel like being out in the snow either yeah, whatever we'll see definitely have something next spring next spring between yeah april and june definitely gonna have something uh definitely gonna have a, a nice meetup um july the week of the fourth of july because we one thing we found while we were while we're living here is that they have really nice fireworks at the drive-in over here i mean nice fireworks so um that'd be kind of an added bonus for a meetup so definitely the week of the fourth of july which is <laughs> you know like eight months away but just trying to calendar it out. I need to get this in the garage. We've been working on the garage. Put some pegboard up, started moving things around. The place is an absolute wreck in the garage right now. Um, uh, I really need to get my outdoor, outdoor gear. I did have it all organized. You guys probably saw pictures. I had my outdoor gear really all organized well. Um, And I kind of wrecked the whole place as I was moving more stuff in and so now I'm trying to organize it the, the outdoor gear and the tools and some of the homesteading stuff you know um, there's there's Miss Shelley I don't know what she's doing a winter jacket and shorts though and look at that hat no, those are those are scorps actually, and a winter jacket. Yes, sir. We are homesteading. Yeah. There's the train. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so um, about the garage, um, I've been. 
doing some putting some pegboard up, moving stuff. Still a wreck. I don't even want to go in there. It's ridiculous. I've got a lot of work to do in there. But that's someplace we're going to do a lot more work this winter. You know, uh, is is around the garage probably. Um, we're not, definitely not going to be doing any yard work or anything like that too much. So. Um, I brought all the, uh, I think I mentioned this in my last video, I brought all the uh, feed from the shed over here. It makes it a lot easier to just step out here. But uh, when the snow gets deep, I don't want, I'm per, there's going to be a lot of times I'm probably not going to want to screw with this, uh, this sliding door. So I, I plan on eventually moving all the feed into there and setting up something in there. Um, but yeah, still I got a lot of work to do here clean this out oh something else about the trail we we've been kind of throwing around we came up on this um site called hip camp um i don't know if i mentioned this in the last video where they um you can rent uh, campsites but they're not at campgrounds they're just like on farms and crap i thought it was kind of cool uh, we kind of well, you know we already got campsites we could fix them up a little bit if we were going to charge like that but um you know get some fire rings and stuff and whatnot um that's some idea we just kind of throwing around. So I'd mention that. Uh, if you guys have never checked it out, check it out Hip Camp, man. There's some cool, probably some cool places right around you you didn't know about. If you guys are, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of you guys that watch my channel are in the camping of some one fashion or another, whether it be backpacking or truck camping or car camping or whatever you want to call it. Um, Hip Camp has some pretty cool stuff anywhere around you. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought I knew every place there was a camp around here, you know, and. and I found that spot, and there's, uh, there's a few places around me I never heard, never even knew about. Kind of cool. So, yeah, and there's something living up there right now. I don't know what it is. There's some pegboard I put up. Plan on getting some hooks and hanging some tools. Might do that today before I go to bed. We'll see. My, um, I need to put a spacer back here because it's kind of wobbly on the end so I need something back here to kind of stabilize it so I'm going to have to work on that uh, see if I get some more wood yeah I go in here it's a mess like I said it's it's horrible <laughs> just everything just piled up in here yeah I took down those two I plan on I think moving all the pegboard over to this side I've got some over here. I still need to put one up on the back of my lighting in here. Sucks. I have to do something about that too. Um, plan on putting one up there on that back board too, but I'm gonna have to cut out for the uh, for the uh, outlet. And again, like I said, put some more down this way, and there's a little cubby hole back here where I can store stuff in. Then I think my plan is, because we eventually this is our idea. You know, we plan on having a uh, uh, vegetable stand on the outside but on the inside we plan on possibly selling things like crafts and stuff so my idea is this back here is going to be our uh, kind of like workshop area and and personal storage stuff you know tool storage and homestead tool storage and blah 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 um back here and wrapping around that, that way so that over there in that corner will be a storage area and then say from you know about there down to the door will be shelves with them, uh, you know, crafts, herbs, blah, 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 things like that. I don't, we don't even know what all. We just have some ideas. Soap. She wants to make soap and things like that. And uh, Eventually planning on having honey, bees, and so we'll have that. Uh, so it'll be split down the middle. We, I plan on eventually building like a little, like, little um, work table counter top down to down about here -ish or something i don't know something like that <sighs> some ideas we're hashing around but again you see all my camping gear is just a massive pile of crap i uh i had this all organized a few months ago and that just got blue to pieces so there's that and Shelly is going to, she has agreed to show some of the work she's been doing indoors today. She's usually thinks she has to have everything a certain way, which she is in the process of moving things around and blah, blah, blah. So that it looks perfectly, perfect to her, I guess. There's my own hair today. Get done what we get done. Um, looks like she's going to be this for me. I kind of like this little end table thing. 
here. I think she's getting ready to paint that for me or something. It's kind of beat up, but I kind of dig it. It's got this little tile top and needs cleaned up. I kind of dig it. Too much cardboard there to go somewhere. I think we've almost got our, got like one. Uh, I see another one over there that needs some cardboard in it. I think we've got one uh, bed that needs filled up. So. So here we are inside. Show you what stuff Shelly's done on the inside so far. She's out to the side. She won't show herself because she got she don't have makeup on and stuff. And you know how that is. Uh, there she's um, drying some herbs. And uh, this is our. I think we showed this before, but there's her seeds and herbs and stuff collection going on. And there's an old cabinet. You got that not too long ago. Old, what is that called? Um, a kraut slicer. Kraut slicer that I got from my dad. It's pretty old. Um, put the computer desk in here next to the fridge. And also we put some, back here we put some cabinets. They're back there. It's kind of dark, but they're back there, trust me. Uh, and she's done a bunch of, there's the bathroom. Looks the same as last time, pretty much. Uh, here's what she's done in the, the bedroom. Looks pretty cool. There's Miko the cat. The great hunter. The great hunter kitty. Say hi to him. Say hi. Meow. Okay, she's sleeping. And here's gun rack, which has swords and a shillelagh and the, the persuader. New curtains, she just uh, sewed them curtains today. And coat rack, and we don't have a dresser yet. But, yeah. There's all that. There's some uh, her canned stuff. She's hiding in the bathroom. Oh, look at you. <laughs> uh, we haven't really done anything in here, really, but uh, we did. We need to put this door back up. It was funky, it wasn't closing right, but we put all the, you know, how well you can see in there. All the cleaning, cleaning supplies, and this is just like a work in progress in here. Stuff mostly is going up to store upstairs. We're not even doing anything with upstairs; just storing stuff. And there's a wood stove needs wire brushed and stuff and connected, and the flue uh, clean. There's a door we're working on to put put over there where the blanket is. We're just heating the the uh, back. The bedroom, kitchen, and bathroom. So we've got a blanket up there, and um, but we plan on putting this door up. It's actually I don't know if I showed this in old the last video. Um, that's a door off my old house, which used to be a uh, the first hotel, first building, and first the only hotel built in Modoc. So that's like I'm pretty sure the uh, old hotel door there. So. I just now noticed this. That's kind of interesting. Looks like that's already been cut at the top a little bit because it's kind of an angle. Anyways, I don't know if we can see we still got a little stripping to do, but the woodwork, wood grain, wood carving stuff in there. Yeah, like I said, pretty much still working in here. Gonna sand this hardwood floor down. Here's the paint. Oh, here's some. Uh, some uh, mason jars we picked up there, like limited edition. Pretty cool. Purple. Got some pint ones and quart ones. Uh, we're cleaning this out. I'll probably do something with it. And here's the pantry and canning stuff in here. Jars, pots, and pressure cookers and such. There's a big bin full of seed heads. We've been collecting seed heads. There's sunflowers and all other kinds of seeds. Uh, I'm not even going upstairs. It's just storage stuff up there. Uh, we've been heating it all with just this little heater here too. So it's been doing pretty good. There's some comfrey drying out.
Now here the kitten somewhere out here. We'll make sure we get the kitten kitten on video. Yes, it's little willow right there. Say hi, Willow. She's a good kitty. Rambunctious little thing. We was just sitting in there talking about the uh, greenhouse. We're going to put the greenhouse. So we think we're going to go out there and kind of measure that off. Make sure I got to I'm hoping for more than 20 feet between that between that that path and this path over here. It's going to kind of straddle the paths. I'm hoping for about hoping I can measure off about 30 foot. So that way it'll leave what me and her was talking about. I was just kind of wanting to leave a little space in front of the door for kind of like a little living area. Maybe put up a little patio table or some chairs or something in a chimney area or something. Um, so we think we're going to measure that off a little bit and, and we'll be preparing to mow that grass down and start building that soon. Um, move, move some of the long skids over for the foundation is going to be the foundation. So we think we're going to work on that here in a second. Probably going to be moving that uh, uh, bathtub too over to by the shed. I believe I have an idea for that over there. Because if we do that hip camp thing, I'm going to want a um, like an outdoor shower area and composting toilet. And I think I'm going to build it right out there alongside the shed. Is what I'm thinking at this time, at this juncture. And I thought that it, maybe I would um, make a little hillbilly bathtub over there with the um, shower, um, outdoor shower deal. So, something like that anyways. We plan on painting the, uh, what I call it the patio, old garage foundation there in front of the, we plan on painting it something crazy or something there. So, that way when we get some, get the drone up and running again, it'll, that'll look cool from above. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at crazy there. Look at crazy. Alright, well that's about it.